Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try this particular example without extending the line. See if I can see right through that. Notice we have three parallel lines and we have some angles indicated. We're trying to find the value for x and y. So first what I'm going to look at is these two lines right here, these two parallel lines. And then this can be considered the transversal of these two parallel lines. Then if we look at these two angles, we can say that these therefore must be corresponding angles and we know that the measure of corresponding angles must be equal which means that the 60 degrees must be equal to 3x degrees and so if we now divide both sides by 3 we can see that 20 degrees equals x degrees and so there's our first correspondence we have found the value for x but what about y how do we find y well, again, we can take a look at these two lines right here and realize that they are indeed parallel to one another. And then we have this line here, which is a transversal, which makes these two angles two consecutive interior angles. And we know that the measure of two consecutive interior angles add up to 180 degrees. In other words, they are supplementary. What we can then do is say that 5y plus 5, not plus, but minus 5, 5y minus 5 degrees plus 135 degrees must add up to 180 degrees. All right, first of all, we can get rid of 135 by moving to the, to the other side. So 5y minus, whoop, put that in the wrong place, minus 5 degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus 135 degrees. 180 minus 35, 135 is 45 degrees. So 5y minus 5 degrees is equal to 45 degrees. To solve it, we can get rid of the degrees. We can simply write that 5y minus 5 is equal to 45. And then we'll put the degrees back on later. So add 5 to both sides. So we get 5y equals 45 plus 5. And then continuing over here, we can then say that 5y equals 50, so 5y equals 50, and then if we divide both sides by 5, we get y is equal to 10, and if we then put 10 degrees back on, we can say that y degrees equals 10 degrees, and so there's the other relationship. So that's how we find both the values for x and the value for y, and that is how it's done.